Many of you may remember the old cell phone commercial where the guy's on the phone and he says, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? He wants acknowledgement from the other side, from whomever he's talking to, that he actually can be heard. A provisional acknowledgement response, better known as PRAC, can also be used to reliably confirm the receipt of a provisional 100-level type of response. In the previous nuggets with early media, we looked at early media along with some PRAC messages, and we'll dive a little bit deeper into PRAC. So when it comes to PRAC, PRAC is really a type of SIP request, and PRAC stands for Provisional Response Acknowledgement. So PRAC is used to confirm the receipt of provisional 100 level responses. And PRAC is really used to kind of shadow what we already have when we send out an invite. We're expecting a 200 OK. And then we have the acknowledgement. And this ensures that the message is sent reliably. And since provisional 100 type of responses cannot be acknowledged, that's why we have PRAC. Now some ITSPs or maybe some applications require PRAC and this may be for RIMBAC or this possibly could be for messages or announcements that we saw in the previous nugget. Again calling your or calling a 800 phone number that's no longer in service, the ITSP may respond back with a message saying this number is no longer in service. So let's look at the call flow but take a deeper look at the actual messages that are sent. So first we have an invite from CUCM. Then the cube will send a 100 trying. Then the cube will send an invite out to the ITSP. And within the invite here, we are advertising the ability to support PRAC by including this tag here, 100 REL. And this is found within the SIP invite. So again, we are saying with the SIP invite, we do support PRAC. Now PRAC messages are not sent automatically. We need to advertise that it supports PRAC by using this 100 REL within the supported header. So next from the PSTN, we get a 100 trying. Then we proceed to get the 183 session progress. And within that 183 session progress, we also see another header require 100 REL. And this header is specifying that reliable provisional responses are required. If we look at the previous message, here we see that the provisional responses are supported. But within the 183, we see that it indeed is required. Now, when we look at this invite, we saw that it was supported. So the fact that it was supported does not mean that we need to send that response reliably. We're only informing the other side here, the ITSP, that we do indeed support it. In the same token here, the ITSP in this example cannot request for those responses to be sent reliably if we have not advertised support for PRAC in the original SIP invite. But in this example here, if the ITSP wants to send that provisional response reliably, it has to include this 100 REL SIP header of this response, which is the 183 session progress. So let me finish off this diagram real quick. All right, so before moving on, just wanted to finish the flow here. So we get a PRAC back to the 183. We get a 200 OK to the PRAC request. Then from cube to CUCM, we have the 183 session in progress. The PRAC is sent. Then a 200 OK is sent to the PRAC request. So the takeaway here is to look into the SIP invite and the SIP responses for the appropriate headers to ensure that PRAC is indeed supported or required. Now you may wonder what happens if we never receive a provisional acknowledgement back, a PRAC. And it really depends on the application or what type of configuration may be put into place. The user agent server may retransmit that provisional response with the expectation that it will receive a PRAC. If no PRAC is received, it may retransmit the response a few more times. But if it never receives a PRAC, the user agent server may terminate the call because it expected the UEC to handle this provisional response, which it didn't, 
So at that point, it just terminates the call. So if we dig a little bit deeper, especially to this 183 session progress, we do see the require, but we also see response sequence headers. These headers are added to every provisional response that the UAS, the user agent server, wants acknowledged. And every response sequence will contain this numeric value that identifies a specific response message. So once the UAC receives that 183 session progress, it will respond with a prac. And that prac will contain a response acknowledge with the same response sequence number. So this 183 session progress was sent with a response sequence of 7382. The user client then sent a prac with a response acknowledge of 7382. And this is how we are able to acknowledge this 183 session progress. So here we see the foundation of a prac transaction. So the user agent client sends the invite. Here we see our supported header. The user agent server sends back the 180 ringing or 183 session progress or wherever provisional response. Here we see the require headers also with the response sequence of 9311. The user agent client sends back the prac with the response acknowledged number of 9311. And then a user agent server sends back the 200 OK. And that's in response to the prac request. So as we saw in a previous nugget, that queue by default does support prac. And we have the option to disable prac in the event that you had a requirement to do so. And we saw this in a previous nugget. Let me log in the cube here. So we do a show run all. We do a section voice service VoIP. And we go down to the SIP section here. Here we see our support for prac. And if you wanted to disable this, we would go to voice service VoIP. You can do this globally like we're doing now, or we can do it on a dial peer level. We go to SIP and we do REL. We can choose the word or type the word disable. Now, if we wanted to put it back to its default configuration, we simply have to do a no. Then at this point, we have put the config back to what we previously saw. And we can confirm as we see it right there. So in this nugget, we went over PRAC, Provisional Response Acknowledgement. We also discussed the need for PRAC, which is to confirm the receipt of those Provisional 100 level type of responses. We also looked at SIP messages, where we can see that PRAC is either supported or required. And we also saw how PRAC is supported by default within Cube. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.